Hi, I'm John with Traditions Performance Firearms, and today we're going to be going over how to clean your percussion side lock muzzle loader. For any questions you might have on how to disassemble your percussion side lock, please see our video on percussion side lock disassembly. To begin cleaning your rifle on a two step process, we're going to start off cleaning the barrel. Traditions makes a vast array of solvents and oils that can both clean and lube your rifle. Today we're going to be using the Easy Clean 2 bore solvent to clean out the inside of this mountain rifle barrel. To begin your cleaning process, just apply some of the Easy Clean 2 solvent to a dry patch. Make sure you saturate it all over the surface. And just put that on the edge of your cleaning jag. And with a side lock, you have to run it down through the muzzle and out of the muzzle. So we're going to feed that down in there and back out. And normally we would let that set about 10 to 15 minutes in order to penetrate the lead and copper fouling that's built up on the inside of the rifling, as well as help break up any extra powder fouling that might be in there from any black powder you've been shooting. Black powder is typically pretty corrosive. So from that point, after we've let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, you can come in with your cleaning brush and pass from muzzle to breech and back, just breaking up the lead and copper fouling that's left inside that bore. And you can make as many passes and use as many wet patches as you see fit, depending on how much shooting you've actually been doing that day. Once you've got your lead and copper fouling broken up inside your bore, just use dry cotton patches passing through from front to back and back out to the front through the muzzle until your barrel's clean and you get a white patch. If you're having any difficulty in swabbing the inside of your barrel, always check to make sure that you've removed the nipple and the bolster cleanout screw from the barrel prior to cleaning. This helps to ensure the air gets in behind your patches your brushes, your dry patches, and then a vacuum effect's not created in there that wants to seize that jag or that brush up at the end of the barrel and get your ramrod stuck. The next step is cleaning the internal components of your gun as well as your lock. Both of these can acquire a lot of fouling through your shooting process. Today we're going to be using Tradition's Easy Clean Parts Path for all of our small components, with our bolster cleanout screw, our nipple, our two tenon wedges, and our tank screw. Just remove the basket from the parts bath, place the components in the basket, and let them sit in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. For the process of cleaning your lock, we're going to use Easy Clean 2 and just a standard cleaning brush. When shooting a side lock muzzle loader, you tend to acquire a lot of fouling along the mainspring area and right here where the bolster would normally come through off the side of the barrel and on your hammer. In order to clean these areas, you can do one of two things. You can either saturate the brush, or in our case, we're just going to saturate the patch and wipe down the components, and then scrub them with the brush. If your gun has been fired a lot, or you've used a lot of rounds firing through it at the range, Feel free to step up to a T-handle with a, with a copper bristle brush to get a little bit more abrasive to knock that fouling off of your lock or your components. That's perfectly fine. At this point, we're just going to scrub all the components here with the fouling and try and break all that up and then wipe it down with our shop rag. From this point, you can take your seasoning patches and or a rag with gun lube already on it and go ahead and wipe down your lock plate and your hammer and your spring surfaces and sear surfaces on your lock. That'll get a nice good film of oil all over that to preserve it. After 10 to 15 minutes, remove your components out of the parts bath. Lay them out on your shop rag and wipe them down clean. If you still find that you have fouling on any of these small components, 
Again, feel free to use either cleaning brush to scrub them down depending on how much buildup you have on these, these parts. Once your lock, internal components, and barrel are clean, your rifle's ready for the reassembly.